Hello guys, so today me and Josh went to uh, a tournament down in Poole, had a really cracking bolt action tournament, a uh, really good day. Uh, it was three games, 750 points, and didn't do too bad, I was quite happy with it. Uh, I took my Fashion Jaeger, which you guys probably have seen from the previous video, yes, yeah, you've seen that one. Uh, first game was against against a real gentleman called uh, Mike Parker, I think his name is. Um, great guy to play against. I played him against him before in um, Reading at Warfare, and he brought his Russians. It was meeting engagement, and it ended in a draw. We um, both took two order dice, had a really good game. Lots of stuff was killed, just not the whole unit. He was very unlucky. He managed to foobar with his flamethrower squad and then flame the squad next to him, only but didn't wipe it out. Unfortunately, just left one guy. So I then couldn't kill that off, unfortunately. So, uh, really good game against him, but it just wasn't meant to be. Okay, so at the uh, Entoyment 750 point bolt action tournament day, uh, first game I played against some British with my Italians, and he bought on a Churchill, which I had nothing to go against. Uh, ended up as a play meeting engagement, sorry, and ended up as a one order dice each draw. Um, my mortar hit in turn one and then kept pinning him, he got to seven pins, then missed, last one, thanks mortar. Um, other than that, not a lot happened, he kept going down which made it really difficult for me to shoot him, basically it kept him in the game really, at the end of the day. Uh, Churchill didn't actually do anything in the end so it was all good, but yeah, first game in, is a draw, I'll take it, would have liked the win, on to game two. Game two, I played against, uh, I can't remember the lad's name, um, but he brought Germans. So it was a bit, bit of blue on blue, uh, German v Germans. Um, and that was uh, Key Sectors. Uh, I tabled him, unfortunately. Uh, was He's not been playing Vikings for very, very long. Um, and he was really sort of trying to get on those objectives really early. And just left himself exposed, unfortunately, and with a flat truck and all my, my LMGs, uh, unfortunately, with regular infantry as well that he had. Didn't take long for me to sort of cut him down. Um, really nice guy, really nice game. Um, but yeah, managed to take all three objectives in that one and table him, which was a good result for the Germans. Well, my Germans, not his turn coats. <laughs> right. Game two. That went a lot better for me. Got a win. Uh, so I was playing against um, British again. No Churchill this time, we've got Sherman. Um, man of the match goes to my anti tank rifle team because they put one pin on the Sherman and then it ran away three times. Um, so kept out of the game. Uh, we were playing key positions uh, and in the end, I ended up holding two, which is really good. Um, yeah, dice were a lot better in that time. The anti tank rifle also hit a squad on a six did some damage on a six and then did another six to kill the NCO. So, man of the match goes to the anti-tank rifle team. Absolutely stellar work. But yeah, this is a win and a draw now into game three. Uh, game three was top secret. I hate this mission um, just because it's such a cheeky one to actually win. I think most of I played it in the draw which is what happened today. I managed to get my truck up nice and early, turn one, turn two, snap two, got my guys onto the objective. But then um, the gentleman I was playing had Russians, so many shots. Which didn't really kill anything, just put so many pins on them that it just shut them down. Um, and I just couldn't get them to move. Tried rallying them, they foo bars. <laughs> um, and they just basically stayed on the objective the entire game, just hanging on to it, because they wouldn't die, because they kept going down, because they kept failing. But I couldn't move the objective, annoyingly. Um, so in the draw, again, I think we just took two of each of our um, order dice. But his Russians were cheeky. Uh, loads of big blob squads of inexperienced infantry, and some massive T-26, I think. It's the big Russian tank with sort of like five turrets on it. It was like obviously a battleship. Um, that was quite a big puzzle on the table. Um, luckily, 
it did fail an order test at one point, went down, didn't get a chance to really give as big of an impact I thought it was going to, which was lucky for me. Um, but yeah, and then there's Raw as well. So, third and final game. I won. So, that's two wins and a draw for me today. Um, I've played exclusively against the British. Um, so, I played uh, British Airborne this time. They were a lot tougher to get rid of. And I got very, very lucky with some of my rolls. Um, so, I managed to wipe out seven men of an eight-man squad <laughs> with a medium howitzer shot. That was good. Um, I managed to pass a couple of assaults as well and survive that with no assault weapons, which was good. I The armoured car got immobilised, which wasn't great, but did its job. Um, and in the end, I managed to get its daisy chain off because it was, oh, sorry, yeah, I didn't say we were playing um, Top Secret, which is really tough. Um, my armoured car didn't come on to turn three, um, but we won, we got the win, so that puts me in a really good position actually, so I'll be really interested to see where I finish now, so fingers crossed. So overall, really good day, uh, came eighth out of 20, um, so I'm quite happy with that, top 10, um, and I wanted to come sort of in that sort of top middle, um, which I just about managed for exactly that with two wins, uh, sorry, a win and two draws. But first tournament in, well, over a year now. Yeah, probably about 18 months. Um, so Mike Smith, the lad who organised it, the cracking job, found it in tournament, really good day, really good haul of prizes as well. I think everyone got away with something, which was really, really good. Bit gutted he didn't pick my tiger for best painted, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, otherwise, I'd have a Yag Tiger to add to my collection of German vehicles, uh, which is one of the few I haven't got. But no, I really enjoyed that. Um, and now it's just a case of getting everything ready for October when Josh and Ben are hopefully coming down. We might have jo Ben's Brits, which will be really, really good. Uh, and get some practice with the thousand point lists ready for warfare at Ascot in November. So for two day tournament there, fingers crossed um, they do well. But uh, yeah, cheers, guys. Keep it easy. Take care.